Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Ride Free Reading Room uh, Tales for Tots program. My name is Granny Jean, and I hope we'll all have a good time today. And nannies and uh, mommies and daddies uh, will support the program and play along with your children, giving them the optimum amount of benefit. So here we go. And drown me out, please. <clears throat> <laughs> the more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Sure, it's really great to have friends and good friends, good friends. <clears throat> well, I see behind me a train. And that train has all sorts of things on it. And what is that? Those are letters. And it's called the alphabet train, right? Right? And this is, uh, those letters make up words. The words that I read in the books. Yes. So here we go. Help me with the ABC song, would you please? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q R S T U V W X whoops O X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? My goodness, train fell off the track, didn't it? <coughs> well, my board is kind of small, but here we go. Let's do it anyway, and maybe you um. Your, your mommy can help you find the letter that your name begins with. What do you think, huh? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Well, that was pretty good. I think that was pretty good. And maybe we'll leave that up for next week. And maybe we'll show you uh, a little bit of a, a uh, alphabet book and find some things that, that uh, these letters um, represent. Okie doke. Oh, let's see. Are you happy? I hope so. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. You can do that, right? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. But if you're sad and you know it, cry big tears. <laughs> if you're sad and you know it, cry big tears. <laughs> if you're sad and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're sad and you know it, cry big tears. <laughs> but if you're shy and you know it, hide your eyes. If you're shy and you know it, hide your eyes. If you're shy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're shy and you know it, hide your eyes. Oh. But if you're sleepy and you know it, ah, give a big stretch. If you're sleepy and you know it, give a big stretch. If you're sleepy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're sleepy and you know it, give a big stretch. Right. But if you're silly and you know it, tickle your tummies. <laughs> if you're silly and you know it, tickle your tummies. <laughs> if you're silly and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're silly and you know it, tickle your tummies. <laughs> but if you're mad and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're mad and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're mad and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're mad and you know it, Stamp your feet. But if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Wow, very good. Well, Wizzy Wizard has a tip today. <clears throat> the tip is for our caregivers. And the tip is, <clears throat> In order to learn, children need lots of repetition. Yes, they do. And uh, they need to hear words over and over again as you're doing things together. 
Uh, they also like you to read their favorite book over and over and over again. And it may get boring for you, but their brains need the repetition to learn the language. So there we are. <coughs> Do you like to play hide and seek, huh? Do you know what that is? Pretending, pretending that you're all gone and, and your mommy or your daddy are looking for you. Well, here's a daddy who's made a lunch and he pretends he doesn't see his daughter, who is Emily Green. Has anyone seen my Emily Green? By Norma Fox Mazer. And there she is. She's hiding. What is she hiding behind a towel? Oh, we can see her feet, but she doesn't know that, does not Has anyone seen my Emily Green? Oh, look, it's Daddy. Where's Emily Green? Hiding behind the cabinet there. Oh, she's my barefoot dancer, my brown-eyed prancer, my girl who loves the color red and roses and rhymes and ribbons and bread. Oh, Daddy's made her a nice lunch. Has anyone seen my Emily Green? Her lunch is ready. It's half past uh, noon. The table's set, my fork and spoon. I've made oodles of noodles, brown sugar ham, and fresh baked bread with strawberry jam. And where is that Emily? She's under the table. And I think daddy knows, I think he does. But he's playing the game with her, right? Has anyone seen my gray Emily Green? She's not in the sink. <laughs> she's not in the drawer. She's not in the pantry. She's not behind the door. Where is she? <laughs> Peeking around the other door, right? Is she under the rug behind the chair? Look what she's done. She thinks she's hiding, but she's very little, so she doesn't understand that her feet are showing, right? Oh, on top of the desk? No, on top of the desk? No, well, that's the cat. Ha. Ah, way up in the air? I can't find her anywhere. I don't think Daddy knows where she is, huh? I think he does. Has anyone seen my Emily Green? Where is that little jumping bean? She must be hungry. It's time for lunch. I want her. I need her. I miss her a bunch. Where is she? Right behind. Right behind her daddy. I'll look in the tub. I'll comb through my hair. I'll pull up the shade. Oh, no, she's not there. <laughs> oh, she's getting she's getting frustrated that he's not gonna he's not finding her. Should I peek in the corner? Shake out the socks? <laughs> Look under the bed? No, nope, not there. Or in a box? Wait, wait. What is that I hear? A knock, knock, knock at the door? A stamp, stamp, stamp on the floor. <laughs> and a big, huge, enormous, tremendous roar. Oh, Emily Green thought she was tricking her dad, huh? Who could it be? I see, I see. It's my Emily Green right in front of me. Here she is before my eyes. Emily Green, what a surprise. <laughs> Oh, I come to the table, sit at your chair. Yes, my sweetie, that one there. <clears throat> Put on the, your napkin, pick up your spoon. Here's your lunch. Don't leave too soon. No, we don't, right? Sit down and finish our, our dinner, right? My little one, my honey bun, my daisy fluff, my sweet big stuff. My clever, my funny, my lovely, my sunny. My daughter so dear. My Emily Green right here. And look, they're taking a nap together in the big chair.
Look at that. The after lunch snack. How special. Oh, it's fun to play hide and seek with daddy. Oh. Daddy plays a good game there too. <clears throat> well, what do I see here? I see the train, but I also see something growing over here. It looks like a garden. And what do you suppose is in that garden? Watermelons, right? Yeah. And over here are some, uh, some sailboats that are sailing and they're sailing in a bay. That's a small little inlet of, the, um, of an ocean or a, a body of water, right? So there's a song that goes, down by the bay where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother will say, did you ever see a whale with a polka dot tail? Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother will say, did you ever see a fly wearing a tie? Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say, did you ever see a llama eating his pajamas? Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say, did you ever see a bear? combing his hair down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say, did you ever see a moose kissing a goose? Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, Back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say. Did you ever have a time when you couldn't make a rhyme? Down by the bay, down by the bay. Oh, isn't that a silly song? I love that song. I do, I do. <clears throat> Well, let's see what we've got here. Uh, well, we don't have many um, frogs down by the bay, but we have them down by the pond, right? And here's a bullfrog. See him? He's a, he's a big frog, and he makes a big sound. Yeah, some frogs are, make different sounds, different sounds entirely. And... <clears throat> We read this poem last week, and it's one of Jack Prolutsky's, in, and I found it in Ride a Purple Penguin, a collection of rhymes for young children. And this one I love, and I love his pictures too. So they're bright and bold and um, uh, very child friendly. Bullfrogs, bullfrogs on parade, dressed in gold and green brocade, scarlet buttons on their suits, Fringes on their bumper shoots. And look at that, it's up the top of his, their hats. <clears throat> See them tip their satin hats as they bounce like acrobats. Hear them croak a serenade. Bullfrogs, bullfrogs on parade. Boom, 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 boom. And that's just how they sound at night <clears throat> when they're adult frogs. <clears throat> well, do you have a toy train, huh? Well, we have a book today about a little boy who loves to play with trains. And he plays in the morning, he plays it in the afternoon, he plays before he goes to bed. And it's called Chugga Chugga Choo Choo. Look at that. And it's by Kevin Lewis. Chugga Chugga Choo Choo. Ooh, look at all those letters. 
Those are all small letters. They're the baby letters. What I have up here are the, the daddy's and mommy letters, the capital letters. <clears throat> Sun's up, morning's here, up and at him, engineer. Who's the engineer? Well, they've got a little toy engineer there. <clears throat> but the little boy that owns the train, I think, is the engineer, too. Chugga, chugga, choo, choo. Whistle blowing. Woo he says. Oh, look at that. Puts the engineer in the in the cab there. <clears throat> hurry, hurry, load the freight to the city. Can't be late. And there he puts all his little blocks and toys and different things that fit into the train. There he plays, pretending he's the big manager of a freight yard there. <clears throat> Through the country on the loose, engine black and red caboose. See the red caboose? You see the black engine over there? And he's going around the furniture, pretending it's hills and valleys and through cities. Do you see that? Do you? Ah, chugga chugga choo choo. Wheels are turning. Woo woo. I'm sure he has a whistle too, don't you think? Right. <clears throat> Round the mountains, high and steep, through the valleys, low and deep. <clears throat> Look, he's made the mountains from boxes and pails. And then he makes little tunnels with his blocks for the valleys. Look at that. So he builds his own little town. <clears throat> ah, <clears throat> into tunnels underground, see the darkness, hear the sound. Chug chug choo choo, echo calling. Woo woo. Woo woo. That's an echo. Yep. Across the river, swift and wide, a bridge goes to the other side. Chug the chug the choo choo. There's the city. Woo woo. Oh, and, oh, what was the And, 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 and across the river. And what was the river? Huh? The fish tank? And he built a bridge with the blocks. Look at that. <laughs> In the station, workers wait, ready to unload the freight. So then now he's taking all his toys out. It looks like it's the kind of the end of the day before supper, right? <clears throat> Box cars empty, one by one. Sun is setting, job well done. Tired, tired, choo choo. Night is falling. Ooh. Oh, he's got a teddy bear yawning, huh? Little boy's in bed now. There he is. <clears throat> to the roundhouse, you are bound. Good night, engine, safe and sound. And there he is, sound asleep. And who does he go to bed with? A teddy bear? No, he has his, he has his train. Yeah. He has some toys here, but he has his train. That must be his favorite. Mm -hmm. Sleepy, sleepy, choo-choo, till tomorrow. Woo! Oh, he loves his train. Very special. Yes, it is. <clears throat> Let's see what I have here. <clears throat> I'm a yellow billed duck with a black feathered back, and I waddle, 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 and I quack, quack, quack. I dabble for my dinner with a swish, 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 and I gobble, gobble, gobble. Oh, I wish, wish, wish. And that's another Jack Prolutsky poem. Uh -uh. So, ducks, when they eat, they tip upside down, and their head is under the water, and they collect their dinner that way. A yellow billed duck with a black feathered back, and I waddle, 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 and I quack, quack, quack. I dabble for my dinner, but a swish, 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 and I gobble, 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 all I wish, wish, wish. <coughs> 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 
Aha. Bunnies are brown and bunnies are white. And bunnies are always a springtime delight. Bunnies are cuddly, the large and the small. But I like the chocolate ones best of all. <clears throat> so here we are. Bunnies are brown, bunnies are white, and bunnies are always a springtime delight. Bunnies are cuddly, the large and the small, but I like the chocolate ones best of all. Not really. No. I love to see bunnies, unless they're eating my plants. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Well, I'm lucky there's still some Lily of the Valley out. Remember last week we sang a little song about the Lily of the Valley, right? And they're like little bells. See them? See? They come out in the springtime. They smell so beautifully, right? They're not very good to, to eat. But what is nice is the deer don't like them either because they know they're poisonous, right? And here they are. They're on a long green stem. And then that's called a stalk. <coughs> White coral bells upon a slender stalk. Lily of the valley on my garden walk. Oh, don't you wish that you could hear them ring? That will only happen when the fairies sing. Come on, white coral bells upon a slender stalk, lily of the valley on my garden walk. Oh, don't you wish that you could hear them sing? That will only ring, that will only happen when the fairies sing. Yeah, I did that, yeah. I couldn't fool you, right? Well, <clears throat> how about planting? <clears throat> if you eat a cherry, you'll find a little pit there, a big round pit, very hard like a stone. And <clears throat> if you put that in the ground, what's gonna happen? Let's see. I found a little cherry stone and put it in the ground. And when next year I went to look, a little shoot I found. The shoot grew taller day by day and soon became a tree. I picked those rosy cherries then and have them with my tea. Yeah, there they are. They're the cherries. I had a little cherry stone and put it in the ground. And when next year I went to look, a little shoot I found. The shoot grew taller day by day and soon became a tree. I picked those rosy cherries then and had them with my tea. Well, I think it's time for our bye-bye song. So goodbye, bye to Mr. Bullfrog and bye-bye to our duck too. And bye-bye to the cherries and the train. It's time to say goodbye. And bye-bye to the lily of the valley and bye-bye to the fairies too. And bye-bye to Granny Jean. It's time to say goodbye. And bye-bye to all my friends. I hope you have a nice week. Bye-bye everybody.